What's up guys, this is Aphex and welcome back to my AAA gun tutorial series. In order to make the bloom for our weapon, we will have to touch up our gun system from last episode. So open up your blueprints and open up your weapon base where we are doing the shooting logic and you can see here that we are getting the forward vector multiplying by distance and marking that as the end of our trace but we don't want to do that we want to add on to get world location so just add um, vector plus vector and add after this get forward vector plug that into the add and then plug after the addition into the end and plug this same node into the end for the multi-line trace then click compile and then let's go over to our map and see if everything still works and as you can see it does still work um, it does look a little bit off but we'll fix that later first let's go into our uh, back into our line trace code and let's implement our bullet spread so over here let's add a variable and let's just call it bullet spread and this will be of type float then let's compile and change bullet spread to something like 10 and then here all we will be doing after this addition where we um, mark the end of our line trace we'll be getting a random integer so right click and type in random integer and actually let's do a random float in range and um, as the minimum let's just or as the maximum let's just attach bullet spread and as the minimum let's do bullet spread multiplied by negative one multiplied by negative one and then plug that into the minimum and let's do a vector plus floats so yes it's a vector plus float and plug in after that addition that we just did plug it um, that into the vector part of the addition and then plug the end of that into the end of both line traces now let's click compile and if you go back and play let's see it's kind of hard to see and you can see that our bullets are getting spread a little bit so i'm just gonna keep clicking in one spot see they get slightly spread so let's increase the bullet spread amount to something like 100 and compile it you can see it's going a little bit uh, more let's increase it to something even more like 1000 and compile and go back and you can see that bullet spreads pretty crazy um, so something that we should fix probably is you can see that when we shoot um, the bullets go way above the crosshair so let me see here and I am back and I do know the problem here so what we didn't do is we have to drag off of the bullet spread node and they do an addition node vector plus vector and in one of the sections you have to plug in get world location and plug that into both of the endpoints for each line trace and then compile and let's go back and you can see now that it is pretty accurate. I'm just going to get rid of the bullets, but I'm going to set that down to zero. And I'm going to test it out. You can see for some reason it is a still a little bit high. So one thing that we do have to fix before I want to go on and try fixing this um, camera issue is that we want to delete this actors to ignore part and let's just plug the execution nodes and then here you can just remove the actors to ignore for both line traces and instead do something called make array and plug that into both and since we're already ignoring self we don't have to add ourself um, but let's also add this player that we are inputting into the fire function compile that and let's go back into the map, see if everything's working. Everything's good. Go back into our weapon base. And let's see um, why and do change this, um, the get camera rotation, get forward vector. Just change it to get forward vector. It just makes uh, the node looks nicer. 
Okay, guys, so after I did a lot of debugging and stuff, I realized that the reason is because the crosshair in the first person demo, I forgot to tell you, is not actually in the center of the screen. So we will actually go into um, the UI if we can find it. So let's look around here. Um, there is a first person HUD and you can see it is drawing a uh, crosshair, but it's not actually in the center. So let's just delete all that. Compile and then let's go. And in blueprints, right click, um, go under user interface, widget blueprint, call it WBP crosshair. Then open that up drag in an image and for the image just anchor it in the center and set the alignment to 0.5 by 0.5 and then click these yellow arrows to center it then let's change the size from 100 to 100 and under brush in this image just search up cross hair or just cross so or no it is cross hair so click cross hair and it's a little bit big, so let's just see. It's 16 by 16, so let's do that. And as you can see, we have a tiny crosshair. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Let's double the size, 32 by 32. That's a, about a good size. Let's compile and go into our first person character event graph and in begin play. So right click and type in begin play. And you can see we already have it here. So right after the attached actor component, do create widget. And if you have this widget clicked on, you can just click this arrow button and let's add, or let's first off, let's set it as the crosshair. So um, let's promote to variable. Let's just call this um, cross crosshair widget and drag off of this and add to viewport and click compile and go back to our map, click play. And you can see that we are shooting in the direct center of the screen now. That is one annoying thing about this first person demo um, project is that it doesn't go exactly to the middle. So then back into your weapon base, we did change, remember to change the forward vector. I think I told you that already. And um, I also changed this to make array and this is looking good. So now let's go back to our bullet spread and increase it to 700 that should be good and click compile and let's play and you can see it's a lot it's like um you're playing valorant so go back to first person character or actually our weapon base and let's change the bullet spread to something like 500 and play you can see there is some bloom it's not that bad so yeah That's it for today's tutorial, and in the next one, we'll probably be adding vi visual effects, sounds, stuff like that, and we might have stuff to touch up on. Uh, stay tuned, please like and subscribe, and see you in the next episode.